Hey, how's it going, everybody? We're about to get started uh, with our chest stream for the night. Let's see here. Coach Blake, can you fix this real quick? Yeah, yeah. And then we'll get started. Well, this is our boom first live. Easy fix. Okay, let's get into Majestic Chest tonight. Hold on, we gotta switch it over. Okay. Yeah. I switched go. it over. See? Ooh. Uh-oh. Over here, so that I can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then I bring this uh, cat over here. All right, hey, audience and Soundkit, how are you doing tonight? Thank you for watching. Hey. All right, so this stream is going to be for you guys tonight. Let's get Majestic Chest up and working right there. Okay, this is my buddy Coach Blake, and uh, we are working through Majestic Chess. All right, Coach, uh, I'm going to give you back the, the mic, I mean, the mouse. <laughs> you get the mouse, and uh, continue on with our adventure. I can actually get to click stuff now. Yeah, the boys have actually done already the, uh, the, the four critical checkmates. They know how to do the king. And Two rooks, king and two queens, king and rook, and uh, king and queen checkmate. So we're pretty good. Now we got to get a little bit faster with our with our puzzles here. So go to load, Coach Blake. Oh, that's right. Man, you made this really hard to see. It is tricky to see here. All right. We're, we're still on chapter good in that one. Yeah. All right. Fire it up for us. Fire. got my coffee on there let's see here how can you stop the background music yeah you know what let me turn that background music down a little bit um, let's see. I think what he's talking about is the music from the video okay I made an adjustment here hopefully it's a little bit uh, you guys can still hear me pretty good okay Here we go. Here we go. Yep, that's a nice thing, not a you thing. It's all good. All right. You're welcome. Hey, there we go. All right. So, Coach Blake, you take control. All right. Let's take a look around here. If you can, move that 
overlay over here so we can see what's going on in the chat tonight. Man. Oh, hold up. This is not an easy thing to do, huh? Nope, it's a struggle. Okay, here's our... We've been poking around on our map trying to figure out where to go. Let's see here. Where do you want to go tonight, Coach Blake? Play a game using your army. Mm, I feel like we did this already. Check a look. Take a look at the what we have first for an army, because we don't have much of a an army here. We got nine pawns, two knights, two bishops, two rooks, and one queen. We got enough. We got a full house, man. All right. So I'm ready to throw down some challenges to whoever is going to going to try to attack us. All right. And we've already done this guy over here, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, cool. I think we left it off there. All right. Let's see here. Play a game. So, a pawn and some ice diamonds. Yeah, we got to get some ice diamonds so that we can be able to get through to the boss level. All right, so let's take a look at our there we go. puzzle. Okay, time out, Coach Blake. Give me just a second. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokes. Um, let's see here. <laughs> do the castle. We're totally do doing the castle. That. Yes, we're gonna do that castle. Um, when you're what we're looking at right now is we have a full set. We have our opponent has fewer pieces than what than uh, fewer pieces than we have. So what we're going to do. Coach Blake is that we're going to have to uh, use a a chess strategy that I was talking about last week, and it's mm -hmm. called uh, when you're winning, trade down, trade your pieces. Yes, or trade down. That that way, when you're playing chess, you're going to make things more simple. So, what do you, before you start the game off, tell mm -hmm. everybody like what it, kind of uh, thoughts that you're coming across right now, and how you want to try to play this game. Right now he's got his rooks locked in with his king, so he's going to have a hard time getting them out. Mm -hmm. But not this one. He can just bring the knight out, so we need to get that going there. Then I think we should pop this up to control the center, so the bishop will point this way. Uh, this knight and this bishop will have a time getting out, so I'm not terribly worried about this just yet. I bet we can get a queen in here to mate him against that back rank. Huh, that's a good idea. Hey, somebody in the chat saying, should you try to push a pawn? That's from Bob Uh Let's see here. Yes, I think that's a really good idea too uh, that you want to continue to try to do, Coach Blake, is that uh, we want to get a pawn to this side of the board, make another queen, and we have the army to be able to do it. So uh, mm. when you're playing even regular chess, and that's the idea, and, and that's in-game strategy number one on what you want to be able to do. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yep, I was thinking I was thinking of uh, four-player chess strategies when I was looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> Not four-player chess. All right, we're going to control that center. Give me the center. All right, get that center here and make... You know what? I might have actually gone with the, the king's pawn forward. Move that king's pawn forward for mm. us here. All right. Queen's protecting, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, now that you got it opened up here, you got bishops that can come out, and you have your queen that can also be able to come out too. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be easier you know, for us to stay active. And I think that's what you want to do when you're playing any kind of chess, is make sure you're just getting all of your pieces as active as you can. So I also see that because he made e6... Then we can get the bishop uh, to g5. But we need to probably give him a backup buddy first um, so he doesn't bat us down. Uh, no, don't push pawns, Coach Blake. Just just focus on development. Mm, there we go. Okay. I kind of want that get. I want to get that queen out. Okay, so look. Again, we're winning, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to be trading our pieces. But right now he's attacking our e4 pawn. And what you're going to do is... We oh, need, 
No, we don't need to poke it, but we need to like keep developing, keep mm. developing. Okay. Okay. Ching. Yep, I knew that was coming. Oh, let's see. Okay. So that doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother us. Okay, because he's got uh, two pieces developed here. Same thing. We have two pieces. He's got a third piece developed because he's got an open highway. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're going to continue to keep on developing. Okay. Driving on the highway. All, All right. Let's see here. What's up with the dog? It's a dog. Go, dog, go, man. Okay. Tell my students, go, dog, go. All right. Pin. All right. Don't All right. So pin them. it. There you go. All right, Coach Blake. You're we're winning right now. So what you need to do is to push that pawn forward. Where where we've pinned it, and now we're going to win it. Okay. Now that that knight has moved, he's attacking our bishop. But look, trade get down. that trade down. But look, get that get that giant rook right there on d8. Get him first, because he is more. He's worth more. And I'm not afraid if he tries to take our knight, because we got a backup buddy on to him. Well, this is true, Coach Santos, but you always want to make sure that what you're taking is more valuable than what's being taken. So yeah. he takes that, take, that's an easy one. Here, take, take, easy. All right, cool. We're, we're safe. We're going to be good. No worries, man. No worries. It means no worries. Oh, really? All right, cool. Well, okay. So you take it back with the knights. You're winning, so you keep on trading, Coach Blake. Okay, trades. Now your knight's in trouble, and now you need to move the knight to a good square. What square am I thinking about? No bueno. That's maybe a good square. Can't move here. This is a terrible idea. I think right here is good, because then I can attack that pawn. Get my... Get my uh, stuff back here yeah you gotta just keep keep up with the development it's kind of a hard thing for him to try to figure out how he's going to continue to keep on holding on to all of his pieces here look you can create another pin Ooh, okay. pretty. all right so you're winning don't 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 make it difficult just just trade okay and, and simplification is what I tell my students is that you're just trying to make the game really simple by taking away all of his pieces he's got nothing to play with Take, take. Take, take. Knight's attacked. Mm -hmm. So I got to move the knight. The, um, a four-year-old <laughs> chess student of mine told me, Code Santos, you can't play chess without your pieces. <laughs> and that is, like, really true. So just start trading. You know, there's nothing too, uh, okay. this nothing is too it. hard about it. Okay, so go ahead, trade him. All right. Well. Yeah, you don't have to worry about stuff like this. Okay. Now he's attacking the knight, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so if he's attacking the knight, we need to put the knight either on, I mean, with the backup buddy, okay? There you go. Takes. Look, and I think that's the way that young players will continue to keep on playing pretty often as you're playing chess, Coach Blake. They, they'll trade, 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 trade. So just make sure you get the backup buddies on your pieces, all right? We got this queen over here. Okay. Because, cha-ching. There you go. All right. Now you got double trouble right there. Take that pawn. Okay. And, all right. So he's munching on some pawns here. No worries. Just continue to keep on uh, taking his stuff. Take his stuff. There you go. I don't have to continue taking his stuff. You don't have to. You just keep on going at him. Check him. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more fun checks or takes? Hmm. Mm, there's that one. There's the queen here. He runs over here. Let's see here. All you gotta do, man, like I said, just keep up the development. Just look for the checks, okay? Let's give that a backup, buddy, real quick. You're worried about pawns? No, I want open lines. If mm. I have open lines, then I'm gonna be able to attack him. And I got enough. Um, with queen to d6 check, okay? Mm, this queen d6 check forces him to go down, okay? Remember, I'm trying to activate all of my pieces, okay? Uh, into this. Uh, let's continue to keep it going here. Just mm. make some room for more pieces to come in to join the fight, okay? Let's see. 
I want to go... What are you thinking? I don't want him coming back this way. So maybe if I bring the crook here, I can scare him a little bit. There you go. Now, see, so you're putting your two pieces together. Okay, causing trouble. And oh. cause that trouble. Man, if I didn't have that rook there, that'd be checkmate. Uh-huh. All right, let's do it. Poke. Poke. Guess what? Oh, checkmate. Nope, not checkmate yet. <sighs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sad, but you know what? I you got more pieces, sad. more pieces. Join the party, right? Join the party. There you go. Smack him around a little bit. Yeah, he's got he's got nothing. He's falling apart. All right, keep looking for that checkmate, Coach Blake. Mm. We're trying to train you. <laughs> All right, I need to. He's locked in there. There, that forces him there. He's forced to move to... If you're in the chat, help Coach Blake. Checkmate this guy faster. All right, I'm telling him the ideas and what he needs to be doing. Oh, come on, Coach Blake. Come on. Check him. Keep checking him. Can I run away there? No, I don't need to do that. Okay. You got a pawn check, dude. I do? You do have a pawn check. That's cool. Get everybody to come <coughs> join the party. Everybody. All right. Okay, got to get in there, man. Mm. Come on. You've been doing some checkmates earlier today. Let's see. There, there. Take, check. That's not good. There. I lose upon that. That's no big deal. I get rid of the rook. I'm cool with that. You're all right. Just simplify it. You're winning, so trade, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Come on, get that queen in there. Make the queen and the rook work together here. Rook to d3. We've done the checkmate like this before. Actually, go back. All right. Rook to d2. Rook to d2. No, that's e3. e4. I got excited. Okay. Yeah, you can do ladder checkmate. Very good, <laughs> man. Very good. But, you know, he's, he's going to escape. You're getting the right ideas, Coach Blake. You just got to bring it together. All right, now you go ahead. Now do your letter. There you go. That took oh, really? too long. That <laughs> took too long. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. Looking good in the chat there. All right. We got our pieces. That's fine. Uh, wow. Can't read that from this far. Nope. Okay. That's awesome. Hit okay. Do we get anything else? No, they're scared of us. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. What does that say? Palace of Ruin or something? Yeah, let's see here. Let's go there. Ooh. Alright, cool. We're back. Hit. Okay. And there's nothing there. Oh, not this? Oh, no. wait a minute. Do we we go gotta here? go. The Misty Castle. I don't know. Click it again. Make it go faster. Go faster. Okay, I got four ice diamonds. We only we do have four, so Yay. now it's time. All right, very good. Let's jump in. Okay. What? You got to go up higher. Wait, I can go up. Mm-hmm. What? That's craziness. Okay. Okay. Yay. All right, Coach Blake. Let's take a look at what we got here. Hmm. Everything but a queen? Everything but a queen. Okay, so... Same strategy. When you're winning, trade your pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is a... This is a... Kind of like chess 101 here. That you know we're working with here. It's getting harder. But just like as I tell my students, you know what? You just gotta... You know, you're gonna be in that end game with only just a queen. All right, let's see. Very here. good last game by Cool Buddy. Thank you, Cool Buddy. All right, so now what we're going to do, okay, and this is a good training exercise for students here. 
Mm. And we're going to develop. That's right. Go ahead. Develop. Just get that guy out there. Wait a Look. minute. I don't like this opening. <laughs> what? See, we, you got to make sure that you have, you know, backup buddies on everything. And so I guess he's not interested in playing with backup buddies. So you need to take it. Okay. And when you're winning, Coach Blake, go ahead. Trade. Okay. It was a good piece that you had, and you traded it for one of his potentially good pieces. Mm -hmm. All right? But now you've made it a little bit more simple uh, for you to play chess. So let's, yeah, copy him. I see what you're, you're, what you're doing. Yeah, go bishop to c4. Okay, we're going to target f7. We can also All right. poke the bishop. We could poke the bishop, right. Um, as we, you got to think about this, too, because he's going to give a check. Okay. He could be giving you a check on bishop to b4. So what you need to think about, again, is like, I, before I go and attack stuff, I want to make sure I get all of my pieces developed. And mm. we, we did the steps with students last week. Okay, remember the five opening steps. Control the center, develop your pieces, castle to safety, okay? Mm -hmm. Develop more pieces, and then we'll attack, all right? So we've just... Um, got in a d4 and you got that that dream center right here he's giving you a piece right he's now he's also going to check me he's also going to check you true okay I just pop my bishop here well if he takes you know let, let's go ahead and take the take the bishop here because he can he give you a free offering take that free offering all right you're winning so what do you do when you're winning run away like a like a chicken no okay <laughs> All right, so yes, we you foresaw that he was going to check you. So, but we got a bishop, right? And our bishop can become a shield for us. We can go bishop to e2 like that, and now he's got nothing. He's going to try to pin us and poke, poke it. There Double you go. Poke. All right, and which one's worth more, Coach Blake? Come on, the rook. The rook. So go ahead, take it. Okay, Coach Blake, time out time out here you know what i wouldn't in a normal game castle all right but this is not a normal game we have a highway that's opened up two highways we have the d oh, highway oh. and we have the f highway <laughs> this happens to a lot of chess players when they're playing chess and they'll they'll continue to make sure that they are recapturing okay somebody takes their backup mm -hmm. okay but they're not watching that back rank. So you can, if you, hopefully you guys can see the checkmate here. All right. And this is the reason why we practice our checkmates all the time. Because you don't know when they're going to pop up in games. Checkmate in ones, checkmate in twos, checkmate in threes. It's not that far away. So go ahead, slam dunk this thing. Okay. This is a checkmate in two puzzle. But it's not hard. You're just trying to develop your chess vision. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. We did it. Now we're going to go to the next level. Yeah. Hooray. Coach Santos. All right. 29 points. That's it. That's all this thing is giving me. That's the most beautiful face I've ever seen. Only um face that a mother could love. All right. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Uh, let's see. Are we doing... Ooh. Ugly. 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 I don't even know what that button says. Does that say reset or exit? What's that? Uh, it says, uh, exit. Okay, that exit. Yeah, right. we want the exit. We have new places to go. All right. The Fortress of the Living... I... Monolith. All right, go for it. Go for it. Monolith. Sounds like monorail. Hey, but bomb saw the checkmate. Good job, bud. <laughs> Good job, bud. Keep it going. I can get 10% off regularly priced items on WholesaleChess.com until June 1st. <laughs> oh, man. Use that promo code. Use that promo code. All right, so before we do anything else. What's that? Save, 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 save our work, please. I don't want to redo this again. Save game. All right. Hit OK. Hey, cool buddy, you still with us? All right, we're going to save it to both. Cool buddies. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right, cool. We have double saved. 
Let's explore the map a little bit. Uh, we got these spaces over here. Okay, a lot of fog. We gotta clear some stuff up here. So we're coming from right to left, all right. Okay, let's see here. Yes, yeah, save it on both of them, coach. Make sure we got it here. All right, cool buddy um, and my friends in the chat, please uh, tell us where we should go here. Uh, so this one first at this castle says, use a king and a rook to checkmate the black king who is defended by two pawns. If you are victorious, we get to uh, have a rook and to join our army. You know, we never used any of our hammers the last time. We didn't use any hammers. We didn't need that stuff, Coach Blake. So, no, but I like using the hammers. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see here. Uh, are you? Oh goodness gracious! I All right, in. I got this. Excited. Is Coach Blake a a doozy? Um, and this is another good chess puzzle that I think that we all need to be practicing too. A king versus um, some pawns here, and I've even done it more with the with the queen, mm -hmm. and so to try to change out because I want um, to be able to show my students too that we can be able to take down even a, a little army like this, but this is tricky. Coach Blake, I'm not gonna. I, I want to you. You just on your own, okay? We're gonna let you just go take a take a crack at. It. I want to see if you can remember how to do this because um, so this was an old. This is an old training exercise. I don't know if you remember me doing this with you guys. Go on, go on, try it, try it out. So not everybody can do it. What I'm looking at here is two things. One, you have. Even if the rook isn't here, you still have two kings and pawns coming down, so opposition is important here. Okay. So opposition, keeping the king away from the pawns as much as possible, trying to snag him. Mm -hmm. With two, the king can back up buddy both his pawns, and that's a tr problem. Mm -hmm. So the rook, we want to try and use the rook in order to keep the king away from his own pawns, so we can start nomming on them. Yes, it's called um, restricting that king from gaining access to the pawns here. Yes, mommy bear, nom nom nom, gotta eat on those yummy tasty pawns. All right, let's stop that king. Go on, Coach Blake. All right, let's... On your own. First, just fly him at him, all right? Just go. I want to watch you go. All right. So he's got a pawn wall defense here. All right, what's the idea, Coach Blake? Come back this way. Okay. Come back this way. He's doing the right idea. He's coming after your rook. And now he's hiding. I don't want to draw here. No draws, Coach Blake. But he does look like he's bullying you here with two center pawns. Two center pawns are very powerful. They are. And especially when they start coming down the board here. I like your idea of getting behind the pawns, okay? Mm. Yes, if you get behind the pawns, then you can be able to do some good moves too. Okay. Ooh, you have to be careful, Coach Blake. Very good, coach. Very good. Very good. Now you got to do that king and rook checkmate. I know that cool buddy. We've been working at this for a little bit when we were been doing chess lessons. So that should be something that's not really new to everybody. Yep, but yep. it's something that, again, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. You got to get your king in there. You got to make it work for you. And that's why we practice that king and rook checkmate over and over and over again. Now that when you do puzzles, you're going to find uh, some moves that are going to look the same. All right. So let's see here. What are our choices, Coach Blake? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, we have another one of those gates. That's cool. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. We got a gate and nothing else. Uh, I guess we got to go to the gate. We have a chasm of scariness and despair off the side. Let's see. 
All right, play a game using your army against eight pawns. All right. Nice game with the two pawns, coach. Mm, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's what Cool Buddy said. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Come on, screen. Uh, Dude. Coach Blake, this is going to be a ridiculous task for you. Yikes. You are probably not going to win this one. So you're, you're way outnumbered. Those pawns can make a dangerous, dangerous type of uh, stopping power. I've done this too with campers before, and I had to practice my my skills here with my pawns. I had eight pawns, and I gave them a queen. Mm -hmm. And they really thought that they could <coughs> stop my eight pawns with their queen. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. All right, if you know how to play it correctly. So come back at another time on this one, Coach Blake, because you're going to get stomped. They're Unless not going to let us go anywhere else. Yeah, hit close real quick. I think it's just like a wake up, and then they're like, oh, yeah, see? That opened up over there. Where? Uh, the Finx with the knight right there. Oh. Go around it. <laughs> okay, what was that? A new challenge? Place the maximum number of knights on the board so they don't threaten each other. Ooh, now we're going to turn to you for, for logic because mm. you're the logic teacher in the group here. Oh, simple enough. Simple enough. Knights always change colors when they move. So as long as all the knights are on the same color, they won't interfere. Let's see. Let's see if your theory is all correct. That's a lot of knights. <laughs> Very good. All right. Click the OK button. Yeah. Logic wins again, man. That's right. We are. Learn by logic. Go ahead. And hit the OK button. Coach Blake wins. Yes, Nacho Bro. He's won this time uh, with his fancy logic. I don't see anything else. Unless we want to come... Uh, hold on. Ah, we have this thing. What's that? Uh, ruins. Eagle Rock. Hinge. Okay. Take a tutorial on hanging pieces. Hanging pieces, yes. Let's take a look at this because this is um, future lessons that we're going to be teaching in the next summer camps. Mm -hmm. um, so protecting your pieces with backup buddies. Okay, this is the term that I always use with students, even when I'm doing private lessons, like with a uh, cool buddy. Um, we have to make sure that we have backup buddies on all of our pieces. Hit the continue button. Let's keep rolling. Okay. Now, just because when we move like one piece in a game of chess, just because you move one piece doesn't mean like everything is going to always be protected. So like in this example here, the rook is now has no backup buddy, so he becomes a target. Okay, my bishops can attack that rook. Uh, queen could attack that rook as well, and maybe if a king has gotten really close to him as well. So. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the that's how I'm going to be dealing with these new uh, tactics okay mm -hmm. okay let's go all right see like a bishop can double attack these two pieces like this because he's on the dark squares in this example go to the next one here I got excited you got excited all right so in this position here that bishop on g5 and he's the green one. Mm -hmm. He's hanging out there. He's just doing nothing. I don't want to say he's doing nothing. He's kind of doing a job here. He wants to take the black knight. Okay. And if he's going to take that black knight, um, then he's going to wreck that castle position here. Okay. Mm hmm. So. I would say knight takes and then queen takes. Knight takes and then queen takes. Okay. Um, that would definitely be a really good move if the knight takes uh the bishop here then the knight is threatening on the next move to take white's rook on a1 mm -hmm. so 
that means that white needs to recapture very very quickly and once he recaptures and then with the queen maybe not the rook all right um <clears throat> with the a pawn excuse me but if he takes with the queen then that leaves that bishop on g5 unprotected so we're kind of like moving out of the way I believe this is called removing the defender, but there is no defender for it anyways. Right. I call this uh, tactic is you're, you're seeing, a, your, your pieces are seeing, your queen is seeing x-ray vision. She has uh, to look through that position here and saying, if that knight was not in the way, that would definitely be trying to take that guy. So I got to just remove this guy, okay, like you said, um... And it's a it's a threatening kind of move, mm -hmm. a discovery attack, okay? Because it's attacking two pieces at once. When I take here on B3, I'm attacking the bishop, and again, I'm attacking the rook on A1, all right? So this is the, the type of problems that to get better at chess, you got to spend time on, okay? Mm -hmm. And there's different ones like this, okay? There's different ones. So now... It, White has to make a difficult decision. Do I save this bishop here or do I save the rook on a1? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on the position here, like this one, um, you have to start saying which one is more valuable. Is the rook more valuable or is the bishop more valuable? So that's why we teach uh, the point values of the pieces. Okay. So the, the bishop is going to be worth more points. He's worth three points and the rook is worth five points. Mm-hmm. So he really wants to move the rook, or he's going to take back with the queen, okay, and say goodbye to the bishop. All right. Next one right here in this position, black's rook is just hanging out there. Again, he is a piece with no backup buddy. Mm -hmm. I can also see that the king is uh, hanging out, and he doesn't have a backup buddy either. So... Um, as you're looking at this, and um, I want to see if um, Cool Buddy can help us with this this checkmate problem. Oh, not this checkmate problem, but this tactic problem, because we actually um, again I was working with them for the past couple of weeks doing the same kind of the strategy. What you do, coach, with your students is that you take a, a king and you take a rook and you just randomly put them on the board. Mm -hmm. Randomly doesn't matter. Okay. And then what you're looking for is you're looking for the double attacks. Okay? When I give you a queen, where can I go to with my queen that will give me a double attack? I'm attacking the king and I'm attacking the rook at the same time on that square. Where is it? Cool, buddy. I hope you're there. Help us out uh, in the chat here. Tell us what square that the queen needs to move to for Coach Blake. Queen d6, he says. Queen to d6. See... We've been practicing that problem here and saying that's a really good square because that one will, will definitely be checking the king and the rook. He can't save them both. So hit continue for us, Coach Blake. Bam, right there. We got it. All right. That's going to be the end of this tutorial. Okay. This is, again, just a, a short introduction to this kind of tactic. But we kind of get the idea already. And that's mm. what we need to be doing when we're playing chess. You're going to be doing that, Coach Blake, in like every game of chess that you're playing. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, thanks, cool buddy. Remember, like, you, you got to be practicing that one type of puzzle. All right. So let's go to the... Monastery and a crypt. Let's go to the pool. Let's go to the pool. Let's see what's going on over there. Yay, summer. Okay, let's see here. An unprotected piece, okay, is going to be showing up in our next puzzles here. We're going to find the unprotected piece and then take it. Okay, we have six hanging pieces. Oh, it was a timed one. It's a timed one. All right. All right, Coach Blake, so you got to wake up, okay? And um, I gotta let's get see. My... Cool Buddy will help you. All right, Cool Buddy, you're going to have to go right. fast because... It's going to be fast. Okay. All Let's right. see here. Hanging piece. Where's your hanging piece? Which one has no backup, buddy? Very good, coach. Uh, okay, click on it to go to the next oh, one. Okay, there All we right. go. Which one has no backup, buddy, coach? 
this one. Very good. That queen had no backup, buddy. Boom, boom. That one. Nope. Oh, because of that one. Well, there you go. Not on your face. The trick is to just check out on all the takes that you have available. Okay? I can take the rook. I can take uh, the knight on this e5. One. I can take the queen. I can take that other knight on, on that other square. So you just go through it very quickly and saying, if I take that, am I going to be taken back too? There you go. There you go. Found it. Do 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 you. All right. Good job, coach. Hooray. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a little slow, man. Those are rookie numbers, dude. You're going to have to go a little faster. <laughs> well, I'm kind of crunched into a corner You're here. You are crunched into a corner, man. Come on. No excuses, man. No excuses. Here, go back again to that pool here. I bet we can get some more uh, money here. Go, 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 go. Nope, Rook will take you. Go, go, that's go, a rook? go. That's a Rook. I had no idea that was a Rook. Uh, that one, that one. Yes, right. All right. Come on, man. That's right. Look, I saw that you were looking and moving your pieces around here, trying to figure out where it is he's going to go. Oh, you ran out of time, Coach. I can barely see the board. You are so... I'm blind right now. I actually can't see. <laughs> get in there. Get into the camera. Come on, man. Get in. Move your uh, chair up. Go faster. Oh, goodness. Come on. I'm blind, all right? I'm blind. <laughs> Dude, I have a screen that's like five. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right. People without glasses problems. Uh -huh. That's what it is. <laughs> all right, here we go. Go, 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 go. Got to go fast. Got to go fast. And if you get it wrong, you get time penalized. Did you know that? Your time penalty. Go, go, go. Come on. Mm. Got to work. Make your chest powers. Chest powers. Here. Yay. Mm. Go, 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 go. Yes. Here. Yes, very good. See, you did it. Everybody give him an applause. Good job, good job. Thanks for making fun of me, Nacho, bro. <laughs> You're super friendly. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. These chat guys, these guys are funny. Uh Oh, we got another one. Clap, clap. <laughs> okay, there. oh, you got to go faster on this one now. I think that's it. Oh, no moss. Oh, they clapped for us. <laughs> Yay, Excuse we me. got cheers. Bless you, come on. Uh, We did that one already, right? Yes, we did. All right, let's do the crypt. We got 10 more minutes, man. Tutorial. Pens and skewers. Okay, good. Good tactic time. All right, uh, I will try to coach through everybody through this one very quickly. All right, so this is a, a skewer, okay, or... Uh, no, not sorry. That's not a skewer. It's a pin. Um, a pin. This is an absolute pin. Uh, that means that the queen cannot move at all. She's absolutely pinned down. Cannot move left, right, up, or down anywhere because that king is in the way or hiding behind the queen. And again, as I tell my students too, they're like, look for X-ray vision. I can see through the queen like this. Okay, so the pieces, the long-range pieces that we've talked about in chess, the queen, the rook, and the bishop have long-range abilities to go from one side of the board to the other. Are you telling me that the knight can't pin something? No, he cannot. He can, he can double attack, he can fork, but the knight is not a good one. Mm. Even, even pawns, you know, could do a double attack here, can do some pinning. If you can pin it, you can win it. So a knight is a fancy pawn. Yeah, it's a fancy jumping pawn. <laughs> okay. So if you can pin it, you can win it. That's what the chess masters will say. All mm -hmm. right? It's kind of it's kind of funny, but you can remember that kind of stuff. See, this bishop is pinned right now uh, because if he moves, he's going to put his own king in check. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. 
so that's the that's the next step of chess coaching is that you want to teach your students that if you can pin it you can win it because you're going to see lots and lots and lots of pins moving forward in your chess life okay remember this one is called an absolute pin a relative pin is like this one it's not a king but it's actually like a queen or a rook a mine uh, another major piece like mm -hmm. this and so it's kind of uh, what we call a relative pin mm -hmm. all right so there's an absolute and relatives two types of pins it really doesn't matter but if you can see through it you go okay I can remember my, my queen has x-ray vision. She wants to have x-ray vision. And I can remember if I can pin it, I can win it. Okay? Pin it and win it. That's right. right. Pin it and win it. There we go. So, relative pin there. Okay. Uh, I've actually seen a, a chess opening like this. And people get into trouble when they put their queen in front of their king. And they haven't yet castled. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that white is clearly not doing the recommended steps. All right, control mm -hmm. the center. I saw that he pro it looks like he controlled the center with the e pawn. He developed his bishop and he developed his knight, developed the queen, and okay. got his queen pushed back. And he may have got his queen pushed back, but you know what, Coach Blake, he's he's missing out on castling the safety. If you're going to play a king's pawn game, you better castle quickly. If you're playing a queen's pawn game, you can actually get away with it, you know, and actually just continue just to keep on developing a slow game of strategy, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but this is trouble. This is trouble because you can see that the E highway is opened up here. Rook to E8. Um, thank you, cool buddy. That's the that's the move. That's the move that we're going to play right there. All right. Continue A. There we go. All right. Let's see if you remember. Is this an absolute pin or an relative pin? Ooh, relative ooh, pin. ooh, good one. Absolute or relative? That is correct. Oh. I was hoping for cool, buddy, man. Because he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, so... We've got us an absolute pin. Can't do nothing about it. All right. Nice job. Okay. So the pin is the, the next tactic that I work with students on. And so that's uh, we're, we're trying to look for pins when we're playing chess games. Okay. A skewer, Coach Blake. Um, is that what you use for kebabs? Yes. That's okay. what you use for kebabs. You, you're sticking the skewer through the two pieces of meat and vegetables all right so you gotta think about it like that too when you go when you're playing chess is that i want the big meaty pieces <laughs> that rookie <laughs> cookie right there is one that i want to stick with my bishop and uh, my bishop wants to go through that guy and i'll also get that knight as mm -hmm. well okay so if the rook moves, then we are definitely going to be trying to go after that knight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if one fall, one piece falls off, go get the other one. <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, this could also work with kings as well too. So again, this is the second tactic that I teach students, um, and because these are these are very common that pop up in chess. So let's go on. Okay, he moved out of the way. Like I said, the, no. one of the pieces has fallen off here. Oh man! Ooh. Hey, hey, McGrath. Let's see here. Go ahead and Coach Blake. Um, we got to we got to keep it family friendly here. That's not nice, man. Ooh. Sorry, sir. Adios. You're gone. Bye. Okay. We apologize for any unnecessary messages. All Life right. happens. Let's go on, Coach Blake. Ban hammer accomplished. Continue. Ooh. All right. You guys know what to do. All right. Not a pin, but a skewer here. Let's do. Uh. 
Let's see here. Where's our move, Coach Blake? Where's our move? Uh, I don't know. We're waiting on Cool Buddy. Waiting on Cool Buddy and our other friends in the chat here. Don't forget this is a 30 second delay. He got it. He got it. He got it. There we go. Get that king out of the way. All right, I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're done. And then we're in that one. All right, Coach Blake. How much time we got? We got about a few more minutes. Let's take an explorer. Um, take us to that shop. That little hut right there. This one? Yeah. That's a crypt. Check it out. Oh, that's the tutorial one. We yeah, yeah, we just that did that one. Okay. Uh, no chest store yet. Nope, not yet. Okay, we got some choices on where we're going to go. All right, we've got the pillar thing. Ooh, we have a big pit of law. The skewer pit. I like it. Okay, go to the skewer pit. Checkmate Black's King using your knowledge of pins and skewers. If you are successful, um, we have uh, a guardian that will be destroyed. Hit accept. Let's do this. Okay, and then this will be our a good a good pausing point for the night. We might even be able to do some uh, fun stuff if we have a little bit of time left. Okay, cool, cool. Let's so, see here. We're looking for skewers, eh? Uh huh. Checkmate black. All right, Coach Blake. Don't. Uh, like I said we're we're looking for the checkmate here. Um. Or we just simplify things, okay? Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see here. How would you approach this game here? I want that queen, but the rook is defending it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to get that rook to move out of the way by giving him something to take. Hold on here. Hold on. Because you can see that this queen has x-ray vision right here. Okay? Mm -hmm. So he's got that backup buddy right there. If we remove the backup buddy, okay... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. If we remove the backup, buddy, then that queen um, is going to be ours. So let's do rook to e8. Thank I'd you, like cool to buddy. Call this a poisoned rook. Okay. Now that he's moved, time out, Coach Blake. What are you going to do next here? Because Ooh. we have some choices. Hmm. If I just straight up take the rook and queen takes, and there's mm -hmm. not much that I've gained. Mm hmm I want a checkmate. You are honestly not winning. Hmm. Queen has the opportunity to come down, so I need a check. Let's see. Is it the checkmate, really? Mm hmm. Hmm. He didn't take. He didn't, didn't escape take. square. If I take the rook, then I can take the queen. I lose my powerful piece. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm not quite sure, Coach Santos. What if I did... You can go back, Coach Blake. Go back to the... Hit close and jump back into it. Hmm. Okay. Take a look at that puzzle again, because that was a little tricky. Okay. Yeah, we got a fresh screen on. Taking a look at the puzzle again. Hmm. All right. So we know that he's going to go down. He wants to go to h7 we don't want him to go to h7 but we can find a way can't we hmm. if i take with the queen that's a check rook takes and then i bring my rook up but then he has two escape squares don't want him to have escape squares no we don't want him to escape and we can't uh, be trading right now we have to use a tactic that we've been talking about. 
I think... No, because if I do this, the rook wins out in the end. If I do a rook here... Nobody's hmm. pinned, though. He's pinned. He can't move that queen if you do it that way. Oh, that's true. So he's got to take there. So wait, do you take the queen or do you take the rook now? I take that rook. Take that rook, check scum first. And then snag that piece. Okay, now things should be a little bit more simple for you, coach. All right, can you finish him off? I believe I can. All right, go for it. We're going to come here, push that, check. Cool buddy got it. Take that. All right, Coach Blake, make sure that you got a rook. I do. You got to make sure, wait, trap him, trap him. Yeah, once can. you trap him, just move your king over, go get him. Go get him. You got a checkmate here. All right. There you go. Check him. Trap him there. Great. Now just do your. No, no, don't worry about that guy. Don't worry about the pawn. You got checkmate coming soon, dude. I know. You're just you're just gonna try to make things too complicated sometimes. Just just I go did. for the mate. Just go for the mate. You play where you are the strongest at. Okay. I did. I gave him a backup buddy so I didn't have to move the rook. You're playing it safe. That's great. But you can throw a little bit of caution to the wind and everything. If you know, you know, that uh, you backed him into a corner. <laughs> All right. Great job, Coach Blake. Um, I'm proud of you. You've done well. Everybody give him a, give him, give him an applause. Yay. All right. We are, uh, what time is it? What time is it? Time for me to get a watch. Time for you to get a watch. Hey, if you guys want to play Coach Blake, uh, cool, cool buddy, you want to play Coach Blake, some, uh, some speed chess. <laughs> you just say holler. We're ready for him. All right. Let me get my speed chess pulled up, eh? Okay. All right. You got to have a chess.com account to be able to play Coach Blake tonight. Mm, let's see. All right. Cool Buddy has a chess.com account. Let's, let's get them ready. As we're doing, getting ready for... Some uh, some quick games, Coach Blake. Mm -hmm. um, let's make sure that we save our work, man. Save our work for us. Oh yes, always save your work. Saving is great. It's the last week of school, man. The last week of school for some of these guys. Yep. How exciting! How exciting! How are the puzzles coming along, cool buddy? Tell me, uh, uh, what number are you guys at now? Hold up. Are you doing them together as as brothers? Hold on. Save it, save it, save it, Coach Blake. Patience, sir. Patience. Save it, save it, save it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Right. So our takeaway again, Coach Blake, mm -hmm. from this uh, from this evening is that when you're winning, trade your pieces. Okay? And we learned a little bit more about um, our uh, pins, absolute and relative pins. And then we also learned more about skewers today, okay? So we got to make sure that when you're playing chess tonight, that you're going to be using those tactics. Mm -hmm. All right, there is our other overlay. All right, so let's go to... Which overlay did we want? We wanted... Oh my gosh, I can't see a single thing. Play students, that's what it was. That's why I moved that over there, coach. Alright, uh-oh. Let's not show that. That's our secret information. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Super secret. Uh, let's see. Uh, we already did this. Sorry, y'all, we were doing some stuff earlier today. We're doing some chess work. Ah, that's right. Uh, go to play. Uh, let's go live chess. Live chess. Do an unrated game if you're going to use my account, Coach Blake. I've worked hard for my bullet chess rating. 
All right. But I want to make you lose all of your rating points, Coach no, Santos. No, no, no. Cool Buddy 20. He's on chess.com. That's who we play. So send him uh, the uh, invite, Coach. All right. Let's see. New game. Uh, quick five minutes. Here. Wait. No. Nope. Hit cancel. How do I cancel? No, just abort it. That game. How do I do that? Hit abort button. Right I, there. We're gonna find you, cool buddy. Hang in there. We're gonna get you a game or two or however many you can. I need you to do that. I can't okay. see a thing. So first thing first, I'm gonna make sure that I add you in. Let me see here. Cool buddy 20. Okay. Here's our board. Okay, so what you gotta do when you have new friends, Coach Blake, is that you gotta go to friends here friend and then you had add invite friends and then you just look for cool buddy cool buddy 20 yeah I still can't see any of that there he is and then you hit a request okay we're sending the request so a cool buddy's got to go to over here to the top corner Mm -hmm. Okay, and then take a look at his chess inbox for messages. Okay. And they're saying tacos. <laughs> Hope he's watching tonight. And then we get messages here. He's a cool buddy has to accept the friend request so we can be able to play. Please be our friend. Yes. Challenge to play. Very good. Here we go, Coach. That's it. That's it. All right. So let's do a five-minute unrated match. Oh, but rated so much more fun. I, hey, we're having fun. We're having fun. Okay, you can... you can Don't play horrible, Coach. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. All right. Here's our game. Uh, he's not currently live. Oh, you got to go to live chess, cool buddy. So he's now online. Now you can send him the invite here. Uh, cool buddy's playing with the white pieces. Oh, Coach Blake has the black pieces. Are you right. ready, Coach? Let's do it. Okay, Coach. Um, cool buddy, make a move quick. Go, go, go. You got five seconds. It's been five seconds. Five seconds, hurry, quick. Make a move, any move. Doesn't matter. Remember, there's a delay. Uh, okay, try again. Rematch. Rematch, Coach. Just hit rematch. Uh, rematch. Rematch, rematch. Okay. Okay. And we're going to talk through the game. All right? And then that's uh, what we want to do, Coach, when you're working with students is to give them about five minutes or so. It gets them used to uh, the time control when Mr. Lip Trap or in, they're in a tournament and they have the clock placed down on them. And you don't want to get nervous at all. Did it do the thing? Rematch. Yes, do the rematch here. Okay, cool buddy's back online. Oh, I guess they got bored, uh, kicked. Go, coach, go. Go, coach, go. You got oh. some fans here tonight, man. Some fans. Oh, goodness. All right, are you ready, Coach Blake? Uh, I've been ready. You've been ready. Come on, cool buddy, where you at, man? Let's see here. Let me help you out here. Cool buddy did not respond. Try again later. All right, got to make sure you go to live chess, cool buddy. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, there he is again. All right, let's go. All right, got to make your move. Go, go, go. He made the move. E4, Coach Blake. Ooh, he there wants we to go. play scary. Tactics. All right, now... Just start making some moves, man, all right? Just all start making right. some moves. Okay. Controlling that center here, Coach Blake. Mm. You haven't faced this in a while. I have not. Good. I'm not Good. Fans. You're not prepared. <laughs> I am not a fan of this. All right. Remember what you do. You're He's controlling the center here so you can... Uh, and, and this is what I remember when I'm playing games like this. Don't move if you can, if you can trade off your e pawn for the other opponent's d pawn, do it. Okay, but make sure it's safe. Going like that is just too crazy. 
It's too crazy. You're really making it a messy game here. Where's your backup, buddy, Coach Blake? Where's your backup, buddy? Now, go on, Coach Blake. Just do what comes natural, all right? But just try not to, like, wreck my my my, <laughs> ra my unrated rating. <laughs> okay. Always confused. He doesn't know if he should or not. That's funny. <laughs> See, this is why I don't recommend that you put two pawns in the center unless you immediately as you can. All right. Coach Blake, you cannot castle now. You're in some trouble. That's okay. But it's not like the end of the world here. Um, remember the steps. Control the center. Develop your pieces. Oh, yeah. You cannot castle, but you can castle the long, slow way. That's right. It's just not going to be easy for you. Um, what I want to tell our viewers that are watching tonight um, as we're playing through this game you, what you want to want to make sure that you're you're focusing on since you, when you lose the right to castle is um, that you are oh, gosh. oh my goodness you cannot take that move back you can hold on coach Blake hold on this is gonna be good this is gonna be good all right now you just gotta play that move when you do that over the board you're just like I didn't I wasn't expecting that or that was the worst move of the game all right you, this is uh, the art of fighting back, okay? <laughs> the art of fighting back is, you know what you need to do? Is that you just need to develop and cause some threats, okay? Sure. You cannot afford to be trading. So if you're losing, Coach Blake, trade those pawns. Every move that you're going to be making here, okay, and is going to be a move that... Is going to, should be helping you to develop your pieces because you're opening up highways, okay? When you get rid of pawns. Mm -hmm. All right? And you're hoping that they don't make a blunder. All right? Now, I'm okay with this. You're okay with the take? Take it. That's right. That at least you get your piece and you get back into the game a little bit slowly. You saw that move. Very nice. Um, Cool, buddy. I saw the the trick that you were shooting for. That's a nice idea. And he's continuing to hammer. He really wants that pawn badly. All right, Coach Blake. Um, analyze the board. You're down by one pawn. You know okay. what I'm going to do? What are you planning to do, Coach? I'm going to go snag. Wow. All right. He could snag, too. This is, again, why I don't like to play King's Pawn games sometimes because the board opens up very, very, very quickly. And you are <laughs> in positions where you're like, oh my gosh, I have to really watch myself. Checks. Ooh. Okay. I think Cool Buddy is, could have been safe by just developing pieces. All right? If he developed his pieces and he castled the safety, he, he's not going to get messed around here um, too badly with your 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 empty checks here. But you got your bishop on a good spot, Coach Blake. Um, concentrate and focus on getting your other pieces developed here without trying to lose anything else here. Because you know what? Cool Buddy has three developed pieces that he's fighting with. And you only have your bishop. And your king is kind of like sitting right as a target. So if I'm playing as cool buddy, what I'm going to be trying to do is just keep on developing my pieces as quickly as I can and bother you with them. All right? Why are you giving him ideas, Coach Santos? Why am I giving him ideas? Because um, uh, they're students, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see here. Uh, I'm in a bad spot, but you know what? You are in a difficult spot. Poke. All right. Poking the knight causes him to make a move. He's got to move to a really good spot. Now, I know that's in like that's that's a quick move. I might have gone back to e4 to attack that dark square bishop. Um, because that's the only active piece that you're playing with that you're fighting with so that's uh 
that that's a move here. Now Cool Buddy's got to like figure out like where is he gonna put his knight, and he's looking for a safe square for the knight. What? And you can see that safe square, can't you, Coach? Mm -hmm. All right. So now you're just trying to continue and saying, we know what we got a a knight that is not going to be participating in the fight anymore. You have to remember to keep developing your pieces. Just don't worry about going after that knight anymore. It's a bad piece, okay? So you just got to keep the developing happening, all right? Otherwise, you're going to continue to get into a really, really nasty position here. So mm. what are you talking about? What are you thinking about? I'll try to give you some advice. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Mm. Coach, just develop. Yeah. I'm not going to give you the, all the right answers, man. I can't do that. But if you're developing, you're, you're, you're fighting with more pieces, okay? Mm -hmm. I hope cool buddy hears that message, all right? When the more pieces that you got developed, the better it, your game is going to get. Now, you know what? That knight is definitely trapped. Oh, yes, he is. He's trapped. That knight cannot move around. So, Coach Blake, um, mm -hmm. he could become a target for you if you let him to be. But right now, your bishop is... Um, is a no bueno bishop. He's, an, he's a potential good piece. All right? He just got to go to a good square. You got to hurry, man. Yeah. Okay. Don't remember to get all of your pieces to join the party, to join the fight. And you're going to have a, um, a better game here pretty soon. Here, You just got to fight your way out of this bad position. All right? Mm -hmm. And this is a good skill that a lot of chess players really need to, to have. Uh, one of my chess books, Improve Your Chess Now, uh, by Jonathan Tyndall, he tells us and everything that to to get better at chess, you, you need to know how to fight when it matters here. All right, so your, your bishop's being attacked. you got to move quickly now. And you're running out of time. We're getting close to one minute, so it's going to be a lot of quick movement. There's going to be some blunders around here. Um, it doesn't matter, Coach Blake. You just got to keep it going for yourself, all right? Stay active. Mm. Bad, bad, bad. 30 seconds, Coach. You got to start moving. Got to move. Um, I would take like maybe three seconds at the most, okay? When your opponent is thinking that's what you need to be thinking as well all right it's like a judo move i'm going to use your time to think about what i'm going to do next mm -hmm. okay mm -mm. just keep it safe okay he's trying to flag you so all he's got to do is just make good strong moves okay that are coming after you. All right, let me see. Cool, buddy, come on. Good. He's putting his pieces in better positions here. Go, coach, go. There you go. So you don't have to take too long for these automatic thinks like this. All right? Cool, buddy's just got to remember that. Oh, we've talked about that tactic. Good job, coach Blake. All right? The pre moves help out just a little bit too because you know what you might it. it might work or it might not. Oh, I ran out of time, ran out of time. That was a very good game. Good game, everybody. <laughs> good game, coach. All right, um, cool, buddy. If you have time for another one, hit the rematch button. Hit the rematch button. Maybe he has a time, or maybe it's their bad time. Ask your parents, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. That was close. Says Nacho Bro. Coach Santos, I want to see you see how many you can get in Puzzle Rush before we finish. Oh man. Okay, next week. All right. I think that's the uh, the the end of the game here, man. That was close. That was close. All right. I will do a Puzzle Rush, um, and then uh, I'll let you do a Puzzle Rush, cool, uh, Coach. So switch over our overlay real quick.
Puzzle Rush. All right, so coming over here. Uh, um, scroll down to Puzzle Rush here. Nope, let's go back up. There it is, down, down, down. Uh, Thank you very much, this cool buddy. We appreciate you guys coming out here and, and getting your getting your lesson on tonight. All right, uh, I will talk with you guys later. I'm going to do a puzzle rush here. All right, Coach Blake, uh, black to move here. Take, check. Okay, that's a looks like a mate to me. All right, uh, another mating idea here. Check, takes, very good. All right, check. Puzzle Rush, Coach Blake. Puzzle Rush will help you out. Hanging piece. Double attack. All right. Uh, ladder checkmate. Ladder checkmate. Yay. All right. Another double attacking idea. Oh, no. No. Got to back up, buddy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Black to move. Do I have a checkmate? Of course, I got a checkmate right there. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Ooh, ooh, goodbye, queen. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Um, checkmate, Coach Blake. Checkmate. All right. Do 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 do. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Where where where's my cool idea here? Where's my cool queen idea? Queen D one. Queen to E one. D one D one. Queen to D one. He takes. I take back, coach. Uh, that's a check. I don't think it gets me anything. Um, taking too long on this one, though. Just do the queen. No, 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 no. I want to do it right. Oh, do it right. Queen take uh, c7. Queen take c7, right. Blah. Blah. <laughs> All right, when you're winning, trade pieces. So let's trade and then promote to a, a new queen. There we go. Wow, I'm blind. All right, uh-oh, I got royal forked here. This isn't cool. Um, <clears throat> why would you give me a puzzle like that? Why? Where is the best place to move? Best place to move is... I'm going after that guy. I guess not. Maybe I had a different I, tactic idea. B4. No, All uh, right. A4 check. H4. A, H4 check. King moves up to G1. And then what's our follow-up move, coach? Oh, um, yeah, what's our follow-up move? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. What's our follow-up move? Wow. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's good. We have a hanging piece. Yes, we have a hanging piece over there. All right. Let's go with the check, and then let's go with another check. Take his stuff and checkmate him. All right. Ooh, ouchie. Yes, do be careful which rook you start with on those. Okay, let's see here. Attacking the knight here, let's do... That knight's hanging here. Mm. Could attack that guy. Is there uh, any way to surprise No, that attack queen the looks queen? like that queen looks attacked here. Yeah, she's done for me. Okay. We're doing pretty good. Black to move. All right. Um, I gotta get rid of this. Let me see. Oh, uh, we're black to move, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Pin it to win it, coach. Pin it to win it. Yeah, there we, we go. go. All right, let's see here. Uh, X-ray vision. Okay, white to move. Let's see here. I check him. He takes. I do a check on F3. Double attack here. Okay. Hey, we're doing pretty good, coach. Let's see here, 50 seconds. I check him, where do we go? Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, the hanging piece. All right, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? Check, there we go. All right. Um, I can 
No, not that yet. That looks nice. That looks nice. Too nice. Oh, ah. No, oh, queen first and then the queen knight. Queen first, right, right, right. Okay, um, a doob a doob a doob. Get rid of that knight somehow. Okay, check. And then, where's my next move? Take the... Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay, amazing. All right, I did 22, coach. Your turn. Oh, I don't know about this. Your turn, your turn. Bad things are about to happen to your rating right now. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't. I don't care about stats like that. All right, go, man, go. Mm, oh, double check. Keep it going, coach. Keep it going. Keep the attacks rolling. Uh, there. Do I want to? Yeah. Checks come first. Just look for checks first. Mm. Look at those checks. Look at those checks. Look at those checks. There you go. Here we go again. Look at those checks first. Checks. There you go. All right. Not there. Maybe Look at there. those checks first. Check. Do okay. do do do. There you go. There you go. Checks come first. Checks come first. Checks come first. There it is. There you go. <laughs> All right, and then free piece. Free piece, there you go. You see the idea, checks come first? We'll definitely like give away a lot of answers here. Mm, there and there. Oh, discovery attack. Yep. Okay, checks come first. Yes, okay, the queen is blocked, so we're okay. good. So you can almost do it automatically, checks come first. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. You gotta be looking for the checks first. Mm, I don't know what that gains me if I do that. Uh, What's it gain you? Ah, here we Come go. Come on. There you go. There you go. Alright. Hey, you're doing good. Alright. Checks come first. There we go. Mate. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's see. I don't want that guy. I want to get rid of that. Checks come first. The rook's over here. Okay. And then, here we go. You didn't see that, did you? I did that, come on. <laughs> I did so. Yeah, right. I did so. All right, checks first, dude, come on. Uh, let's see, oh, there it is. For the last time, man. Last time I'm helping you. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That puts that right there, which means I can come in with a check. Checks first. Oh, wait, you're being checked. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I shouldn't do that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, go here. Okay. Checks first again. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay. Uh, Don't okay. give up. Go. There we go. Mm, no, that's night. I want to go... Ooh. <laughs> There doesn't do anything for me. Uh, let's see. No. Ooh, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, duh. Very good. Mm, there, and then I take, but I attack that, and he just comes down on that. Um, oh, there it is. Check, and then check. Very good. Let's see. I want to take this, but I can't do that with that. If I do... That you gotta threaten the mates. When you got that many pieces, you bring it. You want to bring in a third piece. Can I? No, I can't do that. But I can do. Take your time on it. You're doing good. You, you. This is like your all-time best. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's.
let's see. For Rizzles, man, look at this. You can you can threaten checkmates. You have the idea. Like I want to move my queen to h2. I do, but I need to get rid of that. But yes, you got to get rid of that knight. But you you can threaten a new checkmate. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Like that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you go. I want you to get to 20, man. Come on. You got 20 seconds. So you bet you can do something. Check first. Can't run that way. Has to run that way. Mm hmm. Oh, I got a queen. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. All right, checkmate. Time. Checkmate time. Oh, really? Oh, he worked so hard at it. All right, come on. 18? Not bad. Not bad. I want to know what happened. You want to look at that one? I don't like being defeated that easily. Mm hmm. Check. Okay. Pause right here. Yeah, checkmate. If you go queen to f6, he has a running square. So I gotta go to f5. You gotta go to f5. Oh man. That would've got you the checkmate. Okay. That's yeah, amazing. That's amazing. No, this this is good information because it's like, you know, the theme is, it says mate in three or more. So it's kind of like the... It was a silly thing to forget because I always have to make sure that the knight move away is taken care mm -hmm. of. If it's a slower game, you know, and, and slow play that we play over the board, you're going to see, you're going to see that coming pretty mm -hmm. quickly. But at least you can sit back and say and calculate it out pretty quickly, and that's kind of what it is that you're you're doing. Especially like when in training, um, you your your games, your blitz games are like a puzzle rush game. So there's going to be times when you need to pause, study the game, okay, the, study the position, and then just make your best move, okay. You're not going to see every single thing. All right, before we go, let's tell everybody about our chess camps that we're going to be at. Um, Friend camps. There you go. That's upcoming. All right, June is coming up. This is the time for Trinity Klein chess camp that's coming on June 17th through the 21st. We're going to be in the Klein area. I hope you're able to join us at uh, Trinity Klein Lutheran School. Um, there's still room. Please go and, and use that QR code to get more information about the chess camp. It's or, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. On Friday, it's a tournament day. Or go to Mr. Lip Trap's website where you can get the same information that we have here. Yeah. Also... Um, Kingwood Chess Camp in the northeast part of Houston is hosting a new camp. I'm going to be there. Um, and Coach Blake, uh, I tell him, everybody, it's at an arcade. It's going to be really fun. We're going to do, uh, and it's an afternoon camp. Okay, so you have your mornings to do whatever it is that you want to do. But in chess, you know, we're going to hang out in the afternoon. We're going to have some fun before dinner time. Uh, and we're going to pick up a lot of uh, chess. Again, this is another camp that I'm teaching at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But on Friday, what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be at a Fuddruckers for a small chess tournament. And there, it is open also to the public as well. So it's going to be USCF rated and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, Coach Blake. Um, what else am I forgetting? Oh, four-player chess on Friday, man. Let's go uh, up to it to join, there join, 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 people. It's four-player chess. Coach Blake, go. Yep, so every Friday, a bunch of us get together and just play four-player chess with each other. Two weeks in a row, it has been Coach Blake and Robert, or Japonte Andre, I apologize. We have won two weeks in a row. Can Coach Santos and the Fire catch up to us? Can oh, they yes. stop this trampling of their reputations? Yes. All right. So Fridays at 730. Join us live. If you want to jump in and play with us, please, we will let you play with us. It's more fun that way. Get your friends. Get your family members. It doesn't matter. We're get your right. dog to watch. Yes, get your dog to watch. Get him a Twitch account, all right? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, but we have good news too. We reached affiliate. So, you are more than able and you are welcome to subscribe to us and you are welcome to send us bits or cheers because we're able to accept those now and that makes it more exciting for you and more exciting for us. Thank you everybody for coming out and watching and if you're watching it on YouTube, that's great. We're glad that you are uh, watching on what we're doing. That's it for this evening, everybody. Good night, y'all. It's been a fun night. Go over these uh, very, very, very important chess ideas um, in our video because uh, your chess is going to get better very, very, very quickly. It's a guaranteed promise. Make sure that you're doing that work. Have a wonderful evening. Say goodbye, Coach Blake. Adios. Manana.